The Sermon on the Mount begins with Jesus walking up the side of a mountain, and those that have been following him do so, and he sits down and begins to teach. Jesus is doing something intentional here that wouldn't be lost on that first audience, would be lost on early readers of the Gospel of Matthew. And that is, Jesus is teaching from a mountain like Moses taught from a mountain. Jesus is intentionally putting himself as a, a voice of authority as to God's word for God's people. And that's what Jesus does throughout the Sermon on the Mount to teach God's word, to reorient his listeners, to reorient us, to live as those uh, whom God created and called to live according to the way that God created the world. John Wesley describes the Sermon on the Mount as Jesus' teaching of the royal way, that special path that leads us to the kingdom of God, that as we walk that path, it does a work of transformation in us, revealing to us the true nature of who we are and how the world works. Jesus, not coincidentally, begins the Sermon on the Mount with the Beatitudes, this familiar list of blessed are those with a bunch of qualifiers that we wouldn't think are particularly blessed. I found these artists that I think illustrate the role that the Sermon on the Mount plays in the life of faith of those that are following Jesus. The artists' names are Tim Noble and Sue Webster. I encourage you to Google their names and look at some of their other work. Obviously, this is contemporary artwork, and I've seen things that don't look all different than, uh, than this contemporary art. Now, I first see it and think, well, this is something that I could do if this gets you in a museum like, the, uh, like MoMA in New York City. But their work does something different. You walk into the gallery, you see what looks like just a collection of, of junk or trash. And when the viewer goes in there, they turn the lights off and something happens. When seen from a different perspective, when light illuminates what appears to be something of little to no value, something else is revealed entirely. The true nature of the work is revealed. This is really what Jesus is doing for us through the Sermon on the Mount, revealing the true nature of God's upside down kingdom. So as we continue to look through the Sermon on the Mount, I just hope that image serves as a frame that Jesus's word, as we engage scripture, it is the true light that reveals to us how things actually are and how God has intended us to live. So I hope that as you read in scripture this week, as approach worship this upcoming Sunday, that you do so with an eye towards the work of transformation that God is doing in you. You are loved. Go in peace. Amen.